Well, my name is Molly Busta Lang, but my stage name is Molly B. I have a polka show that goes, it's showed nationwide, and it's called the Molly B uh, Polka Party. So that's kind of how, that's kind of who, a little bit who I am. I've been playing in bands all my life. I started singing when I was three. Mom says I was dancing before I was walking, and I um, started playing in my dad's band when I was eight, and by 11 I was a regular, and I've never left the stage since. Um, I have taught a few polka lessons throughout my life, but I have been involved in music every in every aspect. Um, on my show, I dance and I sing and I play. I introduce the bands, um, and be beyond that, I have um, I've taught classes. Um, my high school show choir used to dance the polka, and so I taught them there. And I've traveled nationwide, and where you go. Um, the, the polkas are going to change. For example, if you go on the East Coast, they're faster. Okay? Then if you go even as far in as Pennsylvania, Ohio, it's a slower tempo. However, there's more moving notes. So it appears to the average listener, oh, it's really fast, but actually the tempo is actually slower. Then you come to Wisconsin and the tempo is faster, but there's less moving notes. For those that are musicians, for example, if it's a faster tempo, they might be playing more quarter notes why in the slower tempo they're playing more eighth notes and sixteenth notes so it sounds like it's faster. Okay, then as you continue to go, you go into Nebraska, it slows way down it's, and it sounds very marked like. And then you go into California and it's a completely different sound. That's what I'm least used, or that's what I'm least familiar with because I've traveled the least out there with the bands. But then the bands differ as far as how they play too. Um, and everyone dances differently. That's why I decided to completely focus on one style of polka dancing and that's the polka hop. And that's what I grew up dancing. Um, like I said, there's so many different styles. Um, when you go on the East Coast, that's when the music's a little faster. They won't put the hop in there. If you go to Cleveland, Ohio, they slide their feet and they never pick them up. It's, I used to call it walking because I didn't think they were actually even dancing. You get to Wisconsin and they are leaping across the dance floor where you're like, I, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But that's why today I'm focusing on this. And this is a dance that is, um, well, first of all, all polka styles are accepted everywhere you go. So don't feel if you don't know the polka hop that you shouldn't jump in just because everyone else is doing the polka hop. Or if you want to dance a polka hop and no one else is, it's once again, it's completely okay. I did my sixth grade project on polka music. I did my senior paper in college on polka music. And since then, I've just continued to research it. And yes, there's so many different styles of polka music. And what's really cool is that everything's always accepted. It really is. So don't feel bad if you're not getting to debut. If you have the basic polka step, you have it down, OK? But our goal today is to learn the polka hop. Um, but before we start, I'm going to have my mom and I will we'll demonstrate how the polka hop works. I'll play the leading role. I always say the man role, the lady role. Hope you don't mind. I'll just use those terms. Um, and the CD we're going to use today is my band out of Ohio called Squeezebox. Okay. Watch out for the register. Yes. <laughs> point out to you right away is that you know you probably never heard at all going on because a polka hop you have to stay light on your feet otherwise it doesn't work also do we have any musicians in the group at all okay then I will always use dancing like terminology because being a musician I always want to think completely different um, there's a thing called a downbeat okay the downbeat is the first beat of the measure that's the strongest feel 
it is what you want to put the least amount of weight on. So when you're dancing the polka hop, it's more like one, two, three, one, two, three, and you're barely touching that foot. And that's what's different from the one, two, three, one, two, three, which we're so used to seeing. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk anymore right now. I wanna have you all line up, because we're gonna go across the floor this way. So if you wanna just line up. Okay, so we all know how to gallop, right? So you know, the gallop is something like this. Okay, well, the easiest way to actually think about this, in my opinion, but I'll give you a couple of different ideas, is you gallop on your right foot, and then you gallop on your left foot. And in between it is where that little hop comes. So it's gallop on your right, gallop on your left, gallop on your right, gallop on your left, always staying on, your, on the balls of your feet. Does that sound doable? You're just doing one, one gallop. One gallop. So it's like... Yeah, so it's, be, it's like right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. I am putting a total of four. Okay, so I am doing one, two, three, hop one, two, three, hop one, two, three. And the thing is, if you really try to just gallop on your right, and gallop on your left, and you're going fast enough, you have to put that in there. Because you're going so fast, you have to. Get the idea? So it's like it has to be in there. So if you don't think about it too much, that might be the best way to start. Okay, if I need to get more technical, I will. Here we go. Two, so gallop, 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 gallop. Seem to. Do you ever get it? Oh, see, you already know this. <laughs> okay, like, you're doing awesome. Okay, here we go. Back again. So now what I have to do is I'll put more of like a bounce in every step. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like everyone, you have to give yourself a little height to. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, and one and two. Oh, one and two. Kind of like you're skipping along. Okay, no, you're doing good. Okay, this next one is gonna feel completely different from what I just taught you. And the step you're going to do is, is, is a kick step. Okay, so you're gonna do kick, back, and down. Kick, back, and down. Kick, back, and down. Kick, back, and down. Okay, so it's a music one, and each, oh, I'm sorry, you gotta bounce each time. So when this leg is kicking, this leg's gotta be bouncing. Kick and down, kick back and down, kick back and down, kick back and down, kick back and down. And then you want to keep that balance going. Okay, so now we're going to go a little faster. So it'll be more kick back down, kick back down, kick back down. Okay, ready? And kick and down, kick and down, kick and down, kick and down. Kick and down, kick and, okay. So this might work for some of you, okay. So now the kick is actually, that's normally where you take your step. So now rather than kick out, you're gonna kick down. You go kick and down. So your kick is not go out, it's gonna go on the floor. You're gonna tap your foot. That's all you're gonna do with it. So it's gonna be kick and down, kick and, and make sure, make sure you switch your foot on the down. Kick and down, kick and down, kick and down. Kick and down, kick and down. So this is gonna work for you. <laughs> kick and down, kick and down, kick and there you go. Okay, so and then the extra step so that that, that jump comes in, so it's so it's one and down, a one and down, a one and down, a one and and that's your extra step. A one and down, a one and down. A one and down. Okay, now we gotta go a little bit faster. And the, now I don't want you to kick your foot out so much. So our one and two, a one and two, a one and two, a one and two. And then and, and they get to a point, so you're not actually kicking out, you're just going down like this. A one and two, a one, that's the idea. A one and two, 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 a one and two. Okay. 
So now let's try that, but go forward with that. So a, a one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. Here we go. Ready, go. One and two, a one and two, a one and two, a one and two, one and two, a one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. That is not bad at all. Okay, keep going. One and two, a one and two, one and two, a 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 one and two. We've all seen those Irish step dancers, right? You know how they do this. You know. Okay, that's what we gotta be more like. Okay, on our first step, you want less weight on that yet. Okay, so a one and two, a one and two. So when you're dancing that, the one that's going down a one, you're still having your weight on the other foot. A one and two. A one and two, a one and two. That frees this foot up to do all the kicks. And then when you're turning, it frees you up more as well. Okay? I'm not gonna put the music on this time. I'm gonna, I'll say hop, hop, step this time instead, okay? And we'll just go a little bit slower. So once it's done, we're gonna keep going down, up and down. Here we go, ready, and hop, hop, step, 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 hop, hop, step. Hop, hop, step. Keep bouncing. Hop, hop, step. 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 So now I'm going to ask you, don't make that last little uh in there so purposeful. Let it just be there to help carry you across the floor, okay? Because if you put too much stress on that, it's just not right. I don't know how to describe it. It's just not, okay? So let's think less about it and think more about the hop, hop, step. And hop, hop, step, hop, hop, step, hop, hop, step. And always be bouncing up. Hop, hop, step, hop, hop, step, hop, hop, step, hop, hop, step, hop, hop, step. One more time. Hop, hop, step, 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 hop, hop, step. Hop, hop, step. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do, I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of everything. That way you can go home and you can practice it to the extreme rather than me only teaching you one thing tonight. Okay, um, so now I want you to practice with your partner. Okay, and the one thing I have you do is if your partner is starting with their left foot, you have to start with your right foot. Okay, can you come out here for a second? Okay, for example, okay, let's just actually, you can face this way, yeah. Okay. okay, so let's just simply walk. Okay. okay, and let's start. Have you start on your left foot, and I'm gonna, excuse me, you start on your right foot, I'll start on my left foot. Okay. okay, one, two, just walk. One, just walk. Three, four. Okay, and stop. Okay, what that does, it matches up. So when you're mirroring each other, you're, you'll be doing the right foot. Okay, that's why we have to start that way. Does that make sense? I don't need to explain it further. Okay, so let's have, and then ladies, you're gonna start with your right foot. That's typical for the ladies. And the man, you're going to start with your left foot. And you are a man right now. Okay, so let's just try it together and try to stay with your partner, okay? Here you go. Ready? And step, step, oh, sorry. Hop, hop, step. 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 Okay, this time I want you either to hold hands or if you want to go even more difficult, you can put your arm around each other and dance that way because then you're that much closer to each other and you have to be at more as one. Okay? Here you go. Here you go. One, two. Make sure you know what foot you're starting on. One, two. Ready? Go. Hop, hop, step. 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 Good. Okay. Now. Do any of, any of you want to try going backwards yet? Is that a challenge? You want to try? Awesome. You want to try it? Yeah. Okay. But actually, let's go in partners. So okay. you'll go backwards and you'll go forwards. Okay. okay. Why don't you hold each other's hands? Just for now, you can do just hands. That way, if you think you're going to step on her, you can keep pushing her <laughs> so you won't step on her. All right. Um, I'm going to suggest the ladies, or let's just have, you can decide. You can decide what foot you want to start on. Just make sure you both know. Which foot, which foot you're starting on. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Hop, hop, step. 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 Good. Let's do it one more time. Staying right in B. 
two, ready, go. Hop, hop, step, hop, hop, step, hop, step, hop, 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 hop, step. Okay, let's do that now with music. It's gonna be a little bit faster. One, two, ready, go. Hop, hop, step, 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 hop, hop, step. So now I'm gonna go to the next level, okay? Um, you can always dance hand to hand. Once again, I think polka music should be accepted however you dance it because that's how you have a good time. Okay, so I never want to take that away from you. But if you want to go the proper etiquette, it's just like ballroom dancing. Now, was it you that said you done ballroom dancing? Okay, so you'd face your partner, okay? And yes, whoever is playing the man's role, your right, mom, you want to come out here for this? Your right hand will go on the lady's waist like that, while the lady's left hand will come up like this. Often, you can try that if you want to, but honestly, I think it's easier doing hand hand. Okay, so, all right. So then you do that, why the other hand, the man's hand is holding the lady's hand. It goes on top of that. Okay, and every time we leave that position, um, when ladies, when you're grabbing again, you always put your hands on top. You're not, gonna you're not gonna have them grab this way. That's the man's job to grab it from underneath, okay? So this is a proper way. So when you're dancing down like this, okay, you're always gonna start towards the open, or towards her hand, not this way. So if my mother and I would start on this foot, that'd be wrong. We wanna start towards the open hand, okay? Or excuse me, doing the hands, okay? Okay, so let's try this in this position. So once again, um, ladies, you would start with your right foot. My men would start with your left foot, okay? Let's, let's try it with just speaking. One, two, ready, and step, hop, hop, 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 step. Okay, so when you don't have the bounce in your step, that really limits you, okay? If you don't have a bounce and you dance with a partner, you're gonna go one, two, three, and you can't go anywhere after that. If you have the extra bounce, it allows you to travel that much further. One and two, a one and two, a one and, because that's your traveling step. So don't let yourself get heavy on that one either. Okay, so let's try going back this way. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One and two, a 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 one and two. Now, the next thing I'm gonna have you do is we're gonna go around the room. Just like ballroom dancing, you go counterclockwise. So we're not we're all gonna go back going back and down, you're gonna go around this way. Okay, so we're always gonna go in the room this way with your partner, okay? Staying right to the beat, here we go. One and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. here we go. One and, two, one and 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 two, one. You're doing really well staying light. You really are. Good.